Hello Viva MK, thank you for joining me again at midday on Thursday for our usual get together to discuss the business and waffle about anything that comes into my mouth. So, firstly, I, th I think it goes without saying, you know, this is um, a day of remembrance. You know, we need to remember, reflect and respect. This is the 75th anniversary of the D-Day landings, 6th of June 1944. Most of us wouldn't even be here if it wasn't what happened on that day. So always remember, always reflect and always, always respect. Um, so almost one year ago, and I don't want this to be a tenuous link. There is no comparison. Um, but almost one year ago, I sat in this very chair and launched the concept of Viva MK. And I kid you not, I had no idea what was going on. And some would say some things have never changed, but I had no idea what was going on. But I just knew that with the connection of people, that the support that there was already there, um, our heritage of where we'd come from, and the fact that everybody wanted to simply work together, knowing we were going to be stronger together, I just knew the business concept was going to work. And you know, work it did, certainly. It was only, and I know many of you know these dates, but there's many new people involved as well. And it's important just to reflect on that. 4th of June, 2018 it was no more than an idea when i first met the people that i then partnered with richard and sarah lord i'd only just met them on that day briefly knew them before that but it was the first day 4th of june 2018 6th of june which is exactly one year ago we incorporated the company 8th of june which is 48 hours away i launched the idea to you guys sat at this very desk and as I was launching it, the one main principle I wanted to get across, that I wanted to be a people's business, that I really wanted this business to be where people felt they belonged. It was a partnership, not just another system to line up lines pockets, but really meaningful business practice um, where people truly did feel they belonged to something that was important and it was about people. You know, I've never changed my opinion on that. We are the people's business. I want it to be the people's business more than just a statement. I want people to feel that it is the people's business. That was less than a year ago that I launched the whole idea of it, 48 hours on the 8th of June uh, at 6 p.m. And I remember being very, very nervous. I'm still nervous. I always stay nervous, very nervous about how things were going to work. Well, of course, it's been a phenomenal year. Many of you have been with us for that entire year. We didn't start registering people into the business until the 25th of June, 2018. We didn't even sell our first product until the 9th of July. I remember even then, people had their opinions and that's fine people are entitled to their opinions and you know what my feelings are and opinions i won't share that live now but you know my opinion even then on the 9th of july we launched the flimsiest catalog in the world no more than a leaflet with 67 products and people were saying it's not going to work it's not going to happen this business is not viable but it was a togetherness of people that made it viable it was you guys getting together and helping and supporting the business that got us together that was 67 products all chemical based we had a phenomenal turnover and even then on the 9th of july systems weren't working properly as they're not working properly today but we are getting there and i'll talk about that in a moment so it was only 9th of july we sold our first ever product and it was chris moore that bought the first ever product from viva mk and i appreciate that thank you very much um so my point is 6th of june um one year ago we only Put the name and the incorporation of the company together and that just puts into perspective how far we have come and like i said i didn't want this to be a tenuous link to an important day historically but i just want us to always remember it's only been one year since we got this all together and i'd like to think that we still have 
what I would regard as a people's business, something where people do feel they belong, they are a part of it, and they feel that partnership vibe. And the reason I wanted that so much is having spent so many years in the industry, you know, over two decades in the industry, one thing I did learn of working with so many other companies and having uh, you know, a lot of conversations with a lot of companies was that what had been missing was the ethos of the whole industry. The industry was never about making masses of money, although that does happen. The industry was never about huge lifestyles, although that does happen. What the industry was about was connecting people and making them feel valued. And I felt that that's something that had been lost in the industry as a whole and in many parts of it, it still is without mentioning names but i still believe that is the case which is something i wanted to bring back over and above what it is we were selling of course what we sell is very important but over and above that so is the partnership of people and that's something i will continue that will never ever be any different it will always come first um, you know, profits in any organization are important. Of course they are. Products in any organization are important. You can't have a company without profits and you can't have a company without products. But most importantly, you can't have a company without people. So in that respect, where it's profits, products and people, the people have to come first. The people coming first will make sure that the products sell and that the profits come in time. You know, I've worked for many organizations that put profits first and even products first and it almost devalued the importance of people. I'm telling you now, even through my limited experience in the industry and in commercial aspects, you make a fatal mistake by not putting people first. People have to come first. Product is important, that comes along and so does the profits, but people first. So. Like I say, I've worked for many organizations where profit has become the main instigation of business. It just doesn't work long term. You have to try and value people. And I'd like to think that everybody has felt a sense of value. There will be people who will say, well, I haven't felt valued and it hasn't worked out for me. There's always going to be those. Because remember what I've always said in this year, that you cannot please everybody all the time. But if I can please most of the people most of the time with this organization, then we are on the right track. I've always said to you that you can contact me and communicate with me at all times directly to me at any time. You have my email address. You can always contact me. I don't always get a chance to return emails immediately, but I promise you they will all be replied to within a year. No, <laughs> within a couple of days. Um, and, you know, it's really strange. You ask me some of the strangest questions. And I know this is going to get very lighthearted, but, you know, I can't believe that two people sent me a separate email asking me, have I put on weight? I mean, I appreciate it. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. It's not a very businessy question to answer your question. Yes, I have, which is why I wear waistcoats to try and hold it all in. So anyway, my point is you can ask me anything, anytime. Even that person, and I won't mention it, it's going to be very, very embarrassing for you. No, of course I don't wear trousers when I'm doing a live. Why would you? Newsreaders don't. Why would I? Anyway, moving on. You could, the, the doors are always open to communication and you can do that anytime about anything, especially if you're feeling unsure about something. You know, I get a lot of emails from people who generally feel unsure about where they're going in the business and their success or about where the business is going and the overall success. And they're two very important questions. Um, an individual can feel devalued for many, many reasons. It could just be the group they're in. It could be the company. It could be anything it could be outside infiltration where people are saying oh don't be part of this be part of that because a lot of that goes on and that is easy to answer so don't ever hesitate if if you feel that way where the company is going well as far as the company is concerned you know like i've just give you that set of dates it was only one year ago today that we incorporated the business. One year ago, uh, 365 days ago, today we incorporated it. I hadn't even launched it yet. So the point is, um, every day there's improvement. Every day there's setbacks. But like I've always said, victories and defeats all the time prepared for all of them. Like the outdoor catalog, we've just had the third batch in today. It's been the fastest moving catalog that we've had, the fastest off the shelves, and the most catalog we've sold. So 
again, you know, most businesses, you know, statistically fail within their first year. And it's the first year that's the most difficult, really. Um, but it doesn't stop there. Difficulty always happens as the business grows. So I'd say for us to shift our latest catalog faster than any catalog we've ever had, and the third batch came in this morning, is phenomenal. That means households out there will have thousands and thousands of catalogs on their doorsteps between now and the end of the weekend, which means our product, our name is getting out there. Brand recognition takes time. We've only been alive a year. You know, it does take time. And if you remember why we picked the name, Viva stood for forever and MK didn't stand for Michael Katkar, stood for my clean is in. It was a sentimental thing. And it was something again that myself, my partners rustled up that name within minutes of meeting each other. So everything in the business has had this phenomenal and very rapid journey. And you've always got to remember that if something isn't going your way, you know, it's a rapid journey. We don't have decades of history. We do have a heritage because many of us came from the same business, but we don't have history in this business and we don't have brand recognition yet, but we will do. So after a year, we've shifted the most catalogs we've ever shifted. They're all going to be out there. And hopefully that creates some of the niche that I've been talking about lately, niche in, in the fact that we, we're going and going into products that maybe others can't source so easily, like the recycled plastic and certainly the fairly traded products, all very important for our, our business. So one year on, a lot has, has happened. I mean, you know, don't underestimate how much has actually happened. Things have gone very well for us. Things have gone very wrong for us, but we are still here and we're still building a business. 365 days later, we've just had our most successful catalog go out. I don't know what the sales are gonna be from it, but by sheer volume of shifting copies of catalog, it's the greatest output we've had. Tomorrow, um, and as you, we, you will notice this improvement, even though our software isn't complete yet, tomorrow we will send out an email to everybody that was recognized with payments, commission payments to follow soon after that. My point is where it's taking us four weeks down to three weeks, we've now honed it in into one week and we've still done that all manually. Every person who reached a level will have an email tomorrow um, recognizing that level. So again, we've speeded up there. It's evolution, my friends, and, and that's how this business has been. It has been huge steps of evolution. Like I've always said to you, there will be steps backwards. Of course there will be. Often you take two steps forward and one step backward, and that is in business in general. However, if you keep taking the two steps forward, the one step backward, although it drags you back, it's okay because you're still making progress and it's important to be making progress. So keep the questions coming. Don't ever hesitate to ask me or even if they are silly questions, it doesn't matter, you know, even that's a sense of engagement. And you know, it's strange, somebody will ask me the most important question and then there'll be a PS, which is the most silliest question, but it's still engagement and, and I enjoy that and that just makes us feel real. I can't imagine that you could write to the MD or CEO of some big corporations and ask them if they're wearing trousers while they do a live. I don't think you could do that. And if you did, I'm sure it would be frowned upon. Well, not only is it not frowned upon here, but I'm actually not. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, so uh, as far as the future is concerned, just to satisfy, you know, the questions that I get on that, you know, we're bombarding the future with everything that we possibly have to try and build this, you know, our, um, our next showcase, which you know is on the 31st of August, again, will be a cornerstone in the business because at that point, not only will I expect to be further along the way to giving you a business where you can put all your efforts in. Remember, I've got a goal for the end of 2019. Not only will be further along the way of that, but again, we'll demonstrate what this togetherness, what this people business, what this belonging, this partnership actually really means when 
when we're all in one room. You know, I, 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 if you were at the last showcase, I'm not sure um, whether you underestimated it or realized the power we had all simply being together. And I remember using a phrase saying it felt like home and it truly did. And we'll do that again just in a matter of months. So between now and then, and there's about three full months left before we get to that showcase, so much will have happened. There'll be so much growth. There'll be so much out there where brand recognition is concerned. There will have been challenges, but we'll, we will, we'll, we'll hit those head on every single time because as much as I want to reflect on the last year, you know, we are still growing and, you know, amidst any adverse situations and that will keep happening because I feel, you know, we're in the right place. All the things that have gone wrong were bound to happen. All the things that have gone right have happened because we've stuck together and we've continued to be together. So um, I guess that's really all I wanted to reflect on today. You know, it is an, it is an important historic day. I didn't want to make it a tenuous link. It, it, it's not fair to do that. But I also wanted to point out it's one year since we incorporated this business, just 365 days. And you know what the most important thing during that time has been? That people have actually made some money. You know, it doesn't matter how much you've made. Uh, whether it's £10 or £1,000, you've actually made some money. So this idea that almost was conjured up in the space of a handful of hours has helped people make an income. You know, there cannot be anything stronger than that in the world if you can do that, if you can encourage people, if you can support people, if you can help them make money. So listen, once again, thank you for helping me have the most amazing year. I hope myself, my partners and the staff at HQ have helped you do that too. Um, I love speaking to you at midday on Thursdays. We'll continue that until nobody joins me and until people start, uh, start asking the most ridiculous questions, which I also enjoy, like I keep telling you. So listen, Viva MK, thank you for an incredible year. I hadn't even launched this business a year ago and here we are um, already celebrating and nothing like the celebrations we're going to have going forward, which as you know, like I've always said, we'll have a proper birthday celebration on the 31st of August where we'll not only celebrate how we've come but where we're going and what we're all about. So thank you Viva MK and thank you for being on board on this very very important day historically even more than the business. Take care and have a fantastic weekend. Bye bye.